Welcome back, Shido Bros. I let a little time pass. We are now in the autumn of 1402. I went ahead and upgraded our uh, sleight of hand. So we have sleight of hand. We just need the building now. I don't have the building put down just yet. And our Robert camp is now fully upgraded as far as staff goes. I went ahead and added on two slots of employee add-on. And we are fully staffed, including ourselves. So we're needing to collect about 1,700 gold, roughly. Yeah, 1,700 gold. We are at 1,113. I think someone just bought our uh, ghost mug. So that put us up really high really quickly. Uh, I have a couple of people set to juggling and three people set to palmistry. That way we can uh, have an even balance because uh, I've, I've been seeing a couple of times that it says target is busy when we're trying to read more multiple palms. So uh, I think it would be better if we set it up this way. Give more availability on the map because we're competing against not only ourselves but everybody else too. There's quite a bit of rogues on the map that I've noticed so far. Uh, they already have their mercenary quarters already built up and a robber camp. So they're going mercenaries. But we're going sleight of hand on uh, this one. So let's uh, establish an alliance with these folks. If it, if it, nope, they don't want an alliance. Okay. Uh, what about... Where's the other one at? Surely there's another one. Okay, there's a craftsman there. I don't want to set up an alliance with a craftsman. We want to. We want to. We want to be at war with them. Give us lots of money. There we go. That's exactly who I was looking for, actually. Rejected. Darn. No one wants to be our friend, guys. We're all alone in this world. <laughs> We're all alone. All alone. Let's see. What are you? What do you have? What do you have? Mother Nature. So they're herb. By you guys. Skipped for materials in the Beach Boys. Y'all are craftsmen. What about you? Cruel cutthroats. Yeah, we want to definitely set an alliance with y'all. Rejected. Dang, man. So mean. What about you guys? Where are you guys? Oh, where are you guys? The Nightshade family. Their herbalism, too. Okay. Um, I think you are agriculture, right? Yeah, farmhands needed. Yeah. My competitors are driving me up the wall. Target is busy. Browse the market right quick. Let's look at stuff. Crossbows. 2156 shadow dagger has not really gone up in price a whole lot still kind of the same uh see it's a little bit better than the dagger because it gives not only stealth but one defense so it gives like additional stealth so that's good for us we're almost there keep going 1700 can we do it I believe we can. We need to increase our productivity, actually. Let's uh, let's invest a small amount of gold in productivity. Boom. 150 is not a whole lot. Especially for 5%. Let's also increase reputation gain. That just cost of influence. Not that big of a deal. 10% for 50 influence. I, I, I'll take that trade any day of the week. Any day of the week. Let's 
1600 almost got it a couple more good palm reads and i think we got it boys we're gonna set up our thing right in here if, if it'll allow us to god they already got a smuggler's hideout too jeez boy they're building up real quick we need we really need to form an alliance with these guys please say yes rejected when they don't like us the trading partner feels insulted reputation went down rip Let's uh, up his dexterity. That's the new employee that we just hired, pretty much. All right, we got enough. Let's pop it down before we get Shido hideout. All right, we're going to pop this in a city because it is a multi-tier level building. It has to be put in a city. Um, the best spot, I think, would be right in here honestly maybe where's the most people at yeah there's a lot of people in here let's put it right here yeah that's gonna be the best spot reason being is you can't upgrade the building unless it's actually in a city so that's the that's the main reason for it going here Plus, we're right around a bunch of cities, too. And people. Always good. David Bushido's leveling nicely. We're going to put him and Jesse in the hideout because they already have shadow daggers. We're going to get them to work. This is where it gets exciting, boys. Oh, maybe we can get lucky and... Get some carts, huh? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So we need to continue having uh, people reading palms uh, on the camp because that keeps our rep positive. Because if we go around and start stealing stuff from people, very, very much going to affect our rep. And we, uh, we don't want to hurt that a little too much. But, uh, you know, we're going to make a little bit of money. It's just little pop shots of money here and there. Just little pop shots. Uh, extorting buildings is going to make us the most money when we get mercenaries. So, we're going to extort every person that we can. Since nobody wants to make alliances with us, we'll, we'll extort them all. Can't wait to go have a church. It's going to be great. Collect all them donations, boys. All the donations. Everyone's got to pay. Pay for their cups. He's already got a carpenter shop. That's real nice. That is really nice. Our rep is high. It's friendly with London now. People love us. We need to go on these ships. These supply ships. All right, let's uh, send. Let's send our guys here. What's going on? Oh, we're reading a palm. Okay. Uh, okay. So pickpocketing's illegal and playing dice is legal. I don't want to do dice. You have a chance to lose. It's not good income at all. All right, cancel that. Cancel your palm reading, please. All right, we are going to add more worker slots. We can only get one, I think. Yeah, we can only get one. So we'll hire another worker. Looks like we have enough to do so. Uh, let's hire a employee. That'll make... What the cool thing about it is, is they actually come with shadow cloaks. If I'm not mistaken, you can replace the Shadow Cloaks with cheap clothes and take it for yourself, but um, we're not going to do that. It's slightly exploity, <laughs> in my opinion. Because, see, look, Shadow Cloaks are... Oh, no, 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 I was wrong. Look, look. 
they they fixed that. There used to be a really bad exploit you could do with that. But it's a good thing they fixed it. All right. David has made it. Jesse should be right behind him. Excellent. Good, good. All right, boys. Let's uh, let's get to work. Pickpocking operation for the Bushido clan. Let's get it. So what they do in pickpocketing is just like palmistry, but it's illegal. Um, and we'll take a rep loss if we get caught. So what they do is they go up and pick a target, pickpocket it, and there's a dice roll, a chance if it gets away or not. See, they were alerted. So we, we're we going to run off with the gold. And in our inventory, we put a, we got something. So we picked up, it looks like Wonder Cure, and we can sell that. It sells for 801 gold a pop. So we are definitely going to need a transporter for this line of business. Um, so we're going to send him to market real quick. And see, we got caught pickpocketing. So that evidence got submitted. And I think Frederick is our employee here. So we need to get him a shadow dagger to kind of help out with that. Now, luckily... Uh, see, we just did it perfect, so we just got away with murder pretty much, and we stole three daggers. So, luckily enough, though, Frederick will maybe just get gel time or a fine. Kind of the cost of business, not really that big of a deal. So, let's put a couple of shadow daggers in inventory. Actually, let's just get one. We just need one. And then the next investment we're going to do is cloaks. That's going to be our next investment. Um, to kind of help with the stealth factor a little bit. And the reason why we're doing our main guys on the pickpocketing part is because I want them to get some experience. So the only thing I wish you could do is uh, manage this. Oh, you can. Cool. Oh, we're under attack. We're at... Yeah, city guard caught us, so we're probably going to go down. We may get arrested. We we don't stand a chance against that guard. Rip. Uh, what happened? Did we get fined? Are we going to jail? Yeah. He charged us for pickpocketing. All right. Yeah, that's the only thing about setting your characters on the main on the on the, on the thing. It's uh, it's very risky. So uh, we need to set it up to where this stuff's not sold. So ugh, this is gonna take a while. Let's just set, let's set this all to zero. We don't want to set up anything to be sold automatically from our warehouse. We're going to set up another building for that, I think. Real quick, before I do all this... Actually, I can just uncheck this, can I? Yeah. I can just uncheck all this. Why didn't I think of it? Thing is, that should be defaulted to none, none sold, because, holly, I don't know if I can edit, yeah, here, I, I can set it to not use storefront, perfect, okay, I didn't think about that, die, die, alright, um, Frederick, you need to come back and get this dagger, so I'm going to send you back home. What do we get? Paralysis potion? Nice. Good find. We need to sell this stuff, actually. Silver chain. Nice. We're under attack again. Barrel's attacking us now. We might win. Being un he might. We might win. Yeah, there we go. He's unarmed. 
So we can we made it we made a getaway. We can run away now. We really need shadow cloaks. Here, let's let's do that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got it. We got to get less detected. We're getting detected a lot. Um. Okay, Frederick, take this, and I want you to equip it, my brother. There we go. I think we got to move him away from the house. Yeah, we gotta move him away. All right, I want you to quiv this dagger for me. And then we're gonna pull us away from, I don't know, I wanna keep doing it though. I know it's probably silly, but we need to get stealth cloaks what we need. Everything works for RPK has reached level four. Okay, we're gonna level her dexterity. She's almost there. Um, let's see. Let's grab our transporter and we're going to sell big money statues, boys. Oh, that's great. I don't think you're gonna win, Jesse. You got a guard on you too. Okay, we're gonna stop doing that. We're just getting murdered. So let's put Jesse back on robber camp as soon as she wakes up from being knocked out. Yeah, that was just not a good idea on our part, I don't think. All right, let's let's sell this big money right here, boys. Kaching. Look at that. Wow, we big monies. Big monies, big monies. All right, we're going to send our transporter back home. Uh let's stop let's stop uh ourselves from pickpocketing. We're going to head to the robbers camp, and then you are also going to head to the robbers camp. And then we're going to hire two employees, send them to market, and we're going to have them take the fall instead of us doing it. We're probably going to do something like extorting or something like that. We'll figure it out. We just don't need to be getting in trouble like we're doing because it's just going to tarnish our name. I think your employees have a better chance of uh, not getting detected. Plus, they start with they start with uh, these cows too. All right, let's put dagger here, dagger here, and clothing. Camouflage coat cloak is way better. Let's grab one for him. One for him. Big investment, boys, but it's going to be worth it. All right, let's go home and go home. And then let's grab our other employee here. Big investments already. All right, stop. Uh, go to market. We're going to put them on. Let's put... Uh, Let's put David and, and Jesse on robber camps. And let's uh, let's read palms with them for a little bit. Improve their rep just a little bit more. And that, we're, that way we're also getting experience too. If we wanted to, we can make pickpocketing legal. If we can get up to the council. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Okay, let's take a look at our robber's camp here. So, let's, uh, where is our employee at? He's at the market. Oh, he's at the harbor market. Okay. Uh, that's going to be expensive, but it'll be worth it. 
All right, perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's send him back. He's he's gonna go home, and then let's manage the inventory of all of our rogues. So on this one, we're going to delete his terrible cloak if we can. Oh, we gotta get him away from the building. Yeah, I hope they fix that. In my opinion, that's a bug. Let's get him away from the building. Uh, we're gonna drop this in the trash. We don't need this junk. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this guy. Perfect. Okay, let's put him back in the building. He's almost back to the house. David is palm reading. Jesse is going to do the same thing. Winter of 1403. Okay, and then she's going to do the same thing. She's going to go heal first, which is absolutely necessary. Uh, new evidence has been submitted. David for pickpocketing. throw away his cloak so he's got inventory room perfect okay let's get him working then let's drop some money on the market here so let's take four walking sticks five peasant clothes and send the market. I think they're alerted to that we pickpocket him, but they don't know who did it, probably. I think that's how it works. Okay, let's drop this on here and this. We are making some mad money, boys. Look at that. Look at that indeed. Um, let's grab a transport. Let's grab a horse cart for our for our bro here. And then that's gonna increase efficiency. Alright. What do you grab, sheep? Well, what are you freaking out about? It's weird. Adhere to storage rules. Let's see. We'll see what happens when he does that. Plague attire. Nice. He should automatically start trading. I think that's what that does. We'll see in a second. I hope that's what he starts doing. Yeah, they're going to increase productivity. And uh, we can't do worker slots, so that's okay. That's all right. All right, boys. Uh, we're going to leave this right here. I want to leave it running. We're going to make some mad money. Get that mercenary comp. I'll cut back to it when we get that mercenary camp back up. So be sure to subscribe today. Like the video. Become a Bushido bro today. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Peace.